Okay, I'm gonna tell you straight why it's taken away from me. I mean, I never ever would use anything like this, but according to MK Ultra, uh, once the people gave away their knives, what they did was they cut completely, entirely, totally everything. I mean, destroyed them totally everything. And I have noticed uh, just yesterday, I have purchased these gloves right here, and I have noticed that they already started to cut. Uh, this is not even one day old. This is not 24 hours old and You can see here what basically was done Right, so I am in environment where they have huge ass knives. Look at this They have a big ass knives. They are they they have knives more than you possibly could count and those knives are big ass knives and At the same time the only thing I have are needles and this is what really, why would police officer be so concerned with a small knife like this? I mean, like I said, I never ever would use something like this against a human being unless it would be like really self-defense, something that there would be no other way out. But yeah, this is yesterday I have bought this in Bedronka, you can see the time. And this is where we are heading now. Uh, so you know who is doing this shit? You know who behind this thing is? Polish police is behind this. Polish police, border patrol demanded that stuff to be taken away from me. So all this, everything you see, including my shoes, they're going to cut me shoes. They're going to rip me everything apart. They are doing exactly what they have said they're going to do, according to NK Ultra. By the way, a bunch of other things was also destroyed, which I don't have a time to go over right now. Uh, I have noticed that glows are filthy too. These gloves, which I bought yesterday, already are filthy. Uh, however, these gloves, the only thing I would do with them is I would place them on my hands yesterday when I walked back from the city. Uh, otherwise, I would keep them inside in here. But I told the guy, the Belarus guy, yesterday when I came, how I purchased them cheap for 3.5 three, three zloty. And I'm already paying the price, folks. This is what this is all about, okay? So this isn't about some kind of immigrants, you know, they're immigrants, uh, they are Muslim, they are uh, Russian and this and that. No, this is coming straight, straight from Border Patrol, from Warsaw is where this thing is coming from. So this is nice one. I see this is, this is chopped too, look at that. So what they do is they'll just go and they'll dismantle. My roommate has a special knife from Chechnya. He's got two knives. One knife is like a small knife to cut bread, something like this. But then he's got a completely different kind of knife. He has stored one uh, in his bunk, okay? So the first results already are evident. Um, I'm not afraid of animals. Um, you know, also it's nice to have a knife with you. You know, you're not gonna you're not gonna go and strangle a, a wild pig, a boar, uh, with your bare hands or something like this. If you are attacked by a bunch of them or whatever, uh, since I walk at night through the forest, yeah, it's not really risky or anything like this. It's nice to have a knife because you can always use knife, right? How how would you want to be without knife? I don't have absolutely anything. And like I said, I don't mind to be without knife, but this is exactly why they have taken away from me knife. You see this? You see this stuff? 
They're gonna rip me everything. Everything you see here, they're gonna rip me apart. Look. They're ripping everything apart, but what's gonna get, it's gonna get much worse than that. I know that. So this is just a part of the procedure. Uh, and I guess the Border Patrol, the Varshow, want to go over it. So this was a good purchase anyways. They screw me up, but they didn't screw me. They screwed themselves more than what they screwed me. And yeah, I'm here. I did not even made it out of the out of the city. Anything. There you go. My friends, uh, this is a very very dangerous country to be in. This is a country where they do the stuff. Very angry crowd. The roommate that you see that you have not seen. Okay, this guy is. This guy is a loser like you wouldn't believe, he's an ex-prisoner. He was a police officer, he was imprisoned. He is all depressed in his crazy world. Supported by a bunch of other violent thugs in this center. On behalf of the Polish police, on behalf of Warsaw. Because none of this stuff would be happening without Polish police without the Warsaw, none of this stuff would be happening. I would never ever go and touch somebody, hurt somebody for doing the stuff like this, knife that I would use, this is just crazy, this is insane. Not in a million years I would even think about it. And I said to myself, you know, stuff they do like this, in this immigration center, stuff like this, they do it. I was thinking about what would they done to me if they would get me somehow in the jail. If I would do something and they would get me behind the bars. You know, this very, very angry country, this, the people here, not the people here, but the government here, this is a bunch of losers that the world have not seen. They're dangerous, very dangerous, it's a very, very dangerous place, a very dangerous situation, in fact. Scary, scary situation it is. Now, just random thoughts related to this knives that they play with, this cutting, this berserk game they go for. I sleep now with everything, including deodorant, including shaving blades I bought yesterday. They, just, they have stolen me, and not even inside of the immigration center, but at the place where I took these ladies, these old ladies, they, sto they have stolen me three cartridges of shaving blades not exactly Gillette, but from Hofer, you know, really quality shaving blades, and I didn't have anything to shave with other than three other shaving blades, which a roommate have bent in a such a way that if you would use them, you would pull off your skin. I only did once, and I had a pain like for like three days afterwards. You would really think about whether you want to use that at all. And then I had just two blades left, which I really have used for like the last five months. That's pretty bad. Enough. Just think about two shaving blades for the for five months. And so, anything you leave out, anything they can get a hold of it, the only thing that happens is that they'll cut, they'll just go and they'll cut everything, whatever they can get a hold of it. I got a friend here, <laughs> a beautiful friend. Okay. Um, so. Not even 24 hours didn't last, not even 24 hours. Uh, 
anything you buy, anything, anything you purchase, the only thing that happens is knife. That's the only thing. Knife, 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 knife. Or if you leave the food outside, coffee, everything I have goes right under my pillow. Uh, if you if you leave that outside, the only thing that's gonna happen is they're gonna contaminate with the chloride, whatever they use, chemicals that will sip you that shit inside. You're gonna be in a tremendous trouble. During the first visit, immigration, border patrol visit to our place here in Grotniki, they came from Wuch. There also was an individual who was interested in why do I have my things inside of the backpack? Why do I go with a backpack and stuff like that? He kind of pointed in that direction. Uh, now you understand why. How they have translated me this, I had to play stupid. Uh, I had to play stupid most of the time because I, they, they tell you if you're going to say you take food with you and stuff like this and then you're going to be out of the immigration system before you even know. And whether I like it or not, I had to play stupid, but I'm not playing stupid anymore because it's becoming it became completely evident who is behind all this stuff. It became completely evident about what's going on. So, folks, extremely, extremely violent people. Like, super violent. Like, you wouldn't believe how violent. If I would be different in any way, I would have been a hundred times dead already. Yeah. I have seen guys that would go off. Uh, and the only thing I remember is the only thing they did is they, they just you know removed them out of you know out of the process. Uh, once they crossed the line, you know, they had like a physical conflicts and stuff. They removed them out of the process and in life, not a good things have happened to them afterwards. They, they totally destroyed them. It was a guy from Wisconsin, from US. Yeah, people like Donald Trump just believe they have the right to do that stuff. That, that actually contributes to, you know, to his, uh, whatever they are doing, you know, whatever they are doing. When I went on meeting on the 21st and my tra uh, my debit card was not, was not accepted on a tram and I had to walk 30 kilometers in the rain, you know the hell that something strange is going on, right? Because that's a debit card, that's bank issued card, the money I realized it was still like 37 zloty on the account. And I only need like slot and half, something like that. You know that something isn't right. You know that something is wrong when you got banks basically declining the right to use even debit card and stuff like that. You know, this is a big thing. And stuff like this only lets me know that they are still doing some dirty stuff. They are still transmitting this thing to the US, whatever, to who, whoever, whoever they are doing. There's still there's still a money game behind all this Trump. That's all there is to it.